Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about my visit my visitation of hell. That's my visitation of hell this morning on the eleventh of the eleventh of January twenty eighteen at between nine thirty four to ten 10.09 a.m. today so what it was I was trying to get some sleep about at that time and I turned my head and I and I and I noticed there was a presence there but I I think I think um I think both at the same time the presence came but then when I when I opened my eyes I noticed that 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 I was in a different room, it, it, and because my eyes were all, all I could all I could see from my eyes was just completely black, completely completely and utterly black, and I, and I could only see shapes, different type of shapes, but I couldn't really make out what they were. But I know there was a demonic presence there, and and I'm gonna pull it, pull out a scripture that that will show you that I was actually there in hell. But obviously, it was a it was a vision, it was a vision of hell. But not, I, I wasn't like I, I I did notice I wasn't I was in a place, but I didn't feel no heat or burning or anything like that. But it was a, it, I could all I could do is see. All I could do is see in a vision. I was seeing it and I was looking around. I was seeing it, and I know there was a demonic spirit there as well, and yeah. But when I when I when I when I when I it was it, the, the demonic pres the, that 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 visitation was still there for a bit for for about under a minute. But when I cried out Jesus when I cried out G Jesus His name, that's when the 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 spirit left and that that hell that hell that hell vision went as well. And yeah. But when I when I went back when I went back and put my head on underneath my covers, both on both sides, my left side and my right side, because it happened on my right side. When I when I put it on both both my sides, when I, and I had and I had my head covered over the covered covered over the sheets, and I did do this when it when it happened as well. And it, when it happened as well, but when I when it, when the demonic spirit left, and I and I put the the cover over my sheets, and it, and it was, and it was and it was light light at that time. It was daytime when it was light. But when I looked, when I looked, when I looked underneath the, underneath the, the, when I looked underneath the sheet, when I put my head over the sheet, I noticed that it was, it was still, there was still light there, and I can see through, I can see through the light, I can see, I can see that it was daylight through the covers, with, through the cover, through, oh, with, with the cover over me. But, but when it, when it, when I, when I had the cover over me beforehand, like I told you, it was pitch, it was pitch black. Like jet black, like, like black, black, like a, like a, like when the television is off. When you see, when you see television off, that's when you see the. That's how black it was. But with that, it had shapes. There was different shapes, like type thing in the in the. When I was looking, when I was looking in the spirit, in this in the demonic spirit, in the demonic spirit realm, in in that in 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 hell. And yeah. And I've got a scripture that will that will that will mirror what I've, what, I, what I saw or what 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 similar thing I see I saw I, I, I saw. So, it's this one. It's Isaiah fourteen, verse nine. That's Isaiah I S A I A H. Isaiah fourteen verse nine, and this is in the King James version, and it says. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So that that's just the part that I was talking about. It, it it came to me, like it says in the scripture here. I read it again. It says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So thee as in the or 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 the. Or, or die as in uh, uh, as it's or, or sort of like 
I don't know because I'm trying to interpret it this interpret this as the spirit interpret it interpret it for me if I if it's possible. It's another. I think that is another word for for then or 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 the per, or, or a title with the name like an introduction to the title where, where it says thy and the as in, as in the t h e and and the as the is the whole thing i was told that the is the whole is the whole word is is wholesome so yeah let me let me read on that script let me read that scripture again but i'll read the whole thing from beginning to end i won't stop so it says here I'll, I'll read the whole of chapter i'll read read the whole of verse verse 9 so it's um Isaiah 14 verse 9 it says hell from beneath is moved from thee to meet thee at thy coming it it stirreth up the dead for thee even all the the chief ones of of the earth it hath raised it it hath raised up from their from their thrones all the kings of all all, all the all the all the kings of the nations so yeah let me go let me go further and find out another scripture so you see how 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 that proves that what the dream that what the of the vision or the vision of uh, i had was actually real and i wasn't really asleep i was i was i was a little bit awake because the demonic spirit always comes when i'm sort of like halfway between being halfway between being awake and uh, being awake and, and, and being asleep so let me read another one, but this is different. This is different. So it's Isaiah 14 verse 9, verse 15. I, Isaiah 14 verse 15. It says here, "Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, comma to the sides of the pit." These are just this, these are the scriptures I'm just speaking about about hell. That or 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 has hell or or has hell in them. So let me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to the top as well and go from there and work my way down. One minute. So it says here in Deuteronomy, sorry, Psalms. I'll get to Deuteronomy in a minute. So it says Psalm, Psalm 139, verse 8. It says, If I ascend up into heaven, comma, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, comma, behold, thou art there. So, you know, there is no reason. There is no reason. There is no reason for us not to choose jesus christ as our, our as our personal lord and savior because wherever we go wherever we die or live we'll, we'll we'll be in the presence of god in some way whether in whether in pain in hell or or in peace and and, and peace and joy and, and ever and in an eternity but in hell there in in hell you you experience five negative problems with 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 the five with our five senses sen senses so that so one of them is our sight i was that's our sight our smell our taste our memory and our hearing they will all be impacted neg negatively, and, and obviously our feelings. So that six probably, well, not even probably, it will be six or beyond. Every every emotion will be there negatively in hell. So what it what it what is what is the point in in us not serving God, not serving Jesus Christ, our Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior? If God is going to be all around us wherever we go, 
even if we make our bed in 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 the in in the sands under under the ground in space wherever wherever we go we can't escape the love of god the love of jesus christ that died for our sins and all of our sins so let me move on we've got deuteronomy like i said i was going to come back to deuteronomy d e u t e r o n o m y 32 verse 22 it says, For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. That seems like it's, it's talking about the end times, but it could be anything really. It could be the weather, it could be, like it says, fire kindled in, in mine anger and shall burn in unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set the set on fire the foundations of the mountains so some of that could be weather like the, like, like like where it says for a fire is kindled for a fire is kindled in in mine anger so you, you you've heard about forest fires i'm sure if unless Unless you're you're a young person and haven't heard of forest fires, but yeah, if you're not to spell psalm, which I'll get to it another another time, but I'll spell it now anyway. It's P S A L M. That's P S A L M. So let me move on to another passage, chapter, book. It says to Samuel. 22 verse 6 that's 2 Samuel 22 verse 6 Samuel spelled S-A-M-U-E-L it says the sorrows of hell compa compassed me about the snares of death prevented me so where it, where it says the sorrows of hell compassed me about basically because if you if you take off the the ED is it is is pronounced camp so yeah if you take off the word ed because i got cut off again it is it, it, pronounced campus and campus when you take off the ed it, it says it means it, it it says campus when you when you because if we if we know if, if some of us know when it when we most some some colleges call their colleges campus where people meet and, and dwell and and, fel and fellowship and socialize with one another with with youths and adults some are very few adults and and yeah because that i understand i understand that uh, as that where it says where it says sorrows of hell campus me about as in the, the pain and toil and stress and worry and pain and terror of hell comes comes it, it's cocoon it's 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 concentrated all, all around me and it's closed in on me as one or a group of us if there's because in in hell we, you're we're alone and with that you can say it as well that that hell is different for for different people it's not all the same i i believe so so the sneers of death prevented me i move on so uh so uh, no i won't actually i'll go back to where it says uh after after it says sorrows of hell compassed me about and now and, and this bit where it says the sneer the sneers of death prevented me so that i understand that as you know the sneers of death as in the the pain and and and, and stench of death sneers so so you where you're so overwhelmed in hell we're, we're so overwhelmed in hell that it that it's actually that it's actually it's actually where it, where it says the sneers it prevents prevents us from escape because you can't escape hell once you're there 
and that's how I interpret it anyway. And it says here, whilst I'm when I because I'm moving on now, so it says in Job, in Job, in Job 11, so in Job 11, 11, 11 verse 8. It says, it is as high as heaven, what canst thou do deeper than hell, what canst thou know? It's, it's talking about, because Job is spelled J-O-B as well, people might think that's Job, but a lot of Christians know it's called, it's pronounced Job. But let me read this again. So it says, "It, it, it is as high as heaven. Thou canst thou what what canst thou thou do? As in what 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 can't I do to escape? And it's as high it's as high as heaven. So obviously it's too far to reach to get out. Deeper than hell." So it's it is as high so it says it is as high as heaven what canst thou do deeper than hell what can't what can't what can't someone do that's deeper than hell what that's worse than hell that's what it's saying that's why that's how I understand it and it says what canst thou know uh, it's saying that everything's open to, and and bare naked that day that everyone that that everyone in hell can see what's going on in heaven and on and on the earth it seems to me how 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 i'm I, how i'm understanding it personally and it says here in in job 26 verse 6 hell is naked before 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 sorry hell is hell is naked before him it's just like what i said earlier about about what 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 I said, what I said in Job eleven verse eight. So I read that bit again in twenty in Job twenty six verse six. Twenty six in Job twenty six verse twenty six verse six. It says, "Hell, hell is naked before him, and destruction hath no covering." So there's no protection on on, on destruction in hell. So no covering and no protection. So it says here, Psalm 9 verse 17, it says, the wicked shall, shall be burnt, sorry, the wicked shall be turned, turned into hell and, and all, and all the, and all the, and all the nations that forget God. So I think this is as plain as plain as can see. It says here, the wicked shall be. So the, so it says here, the wicked shall be turned in into hell, and all the and 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 all the and all the nations that for, forget God. When it says wicked, it means someone that's 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 a criminal, that's evil, evil doer. But that thinks of doing crime all the time, doing bad, lying, stealing, all that kind of stuff. That breaks it that breaks that breaks all of the Ten Commandments. So I read on it says in Psalm sixteen verse ten, for thou will, wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Yeah, I think it's. I think I understand it as. For yeah, I don't think he's talking about hell. It doesn't seem like he's talking about hell. But he's talking about. Maybe I think he's talking about maybe a Christian. It's where it says, 
where it says, thou, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. So it's, I think I understand it as, as the Bible talking about a Christian that won't be left in hell. As, as long as they're following God. So it says, neither, it's, it goes on to say, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Yeah, that, that's, that's a Christian one, for a Christian. And it says, in the next part, in the next part, it says, in Psalms 18 verse 5, the sorrows of hell, we have already seen this one. Yeah, I'll move on, I'll jump one. So it says here, in Psalm, sorrow of hell compass me about. It says, it says in Psalm, Psalm 55 verse 15, it says, Let death seize upon me. Sorry, I said that again, but I made a mistake on my reading. It says, Let, let, let death see, see, seize upon them and let them go down, down quick into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. So it looks like to me that it's constantly, uh, constantly there in their minds and hearts, wickedness. And yeah, let me. Okay. It says here in. It says here, Psalm 80, 86, verse 13, it says, For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. So I read it again, because I'm not getting this one. It says, For great is thy mercy toward me. Oh yeah, so God's grace, grace and mercy is upon every human being, past, present and future. Well, sorry, I should say current and future. For great is my, thy, thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. So, looks like it's saying God has got them from the lowest part of hell, or rescued them from the lowest part of their, their lowest part of their lives. Or our lives, not, not not their lives, our lives, who are currently living. I don't even know, I'm just praying and just letting the Holy Spirit guide me as I read this. So it says here, Psalm 116 verse 3, it says here, the, the sorrows of death, come, oh we've done this already, pains of Oh, God. Oh, this one's different. It says here, it's like this, like similar to one I read before. It says, Sor the sorrows of death compassed me, and the and and the pains of hell, and the and and the pains of and the pains and the pains of hell, hell get. Sorry. The sorrows of death. The sorrows of death compassed me. And the pains of hell got hold got hold upon me. I found trouble and I, f I found trouble and sorrow. So it looks like he's talking about pain and trouble and sorrow in hell. Cause yeah. I don't think I can talk about that any further. Or go any further. Must me and pains of hell go upon my. So it says here, Psalm 139, verse 
Exodus, Psalm 139, verse 8. If I send upon, sorry, if I send upon, if I, if I send upon, sorry, if I send up unto heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou, behold, thou art there. I've already done this one, actually. It, sound, it looks different. I move on, actually. Proverbs, P-R-O-V-E-R-B-S. Proverbs 5 verse 5, Proverbs 5 verse 5, sorry. Her feet, on, her, her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on, on hell. Well, I'll read that again. So it's Proverbs 5 verse 5. Her her feet go down to death. Her step her steps take hold on on hell. Yeah. Um, uh. So this one, it's Proverbs seven, because I can't think of what is what 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 to see on this one. I think on. Yeah, I'll read it again. So it's. Oh yeah, I can understand this one about where it says her feet go down to death, because it seems like when 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 someone does, it's talking about constant wickedness, because. You 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 walk to crime. You do crime. You you your feet, your feet follow you to crime, and 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 making people's lives a a, a, a misery. That's how I, I that's how I see it, or or how I interpret it, or how I understand it. And it, and this this part where it says her steps take hold. Her steps take hold on hell. So it looks like her, her steps took her, took her hold on took her hold took her hold onto her onto hell. That's what I understand it as. And it says on us going to Proverbs seven verse twenty seven. It says it says here, her house is her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. So I say again, Proverbs, verse seven. Sorry, Proverbs seven, Proverbs seven, verse twenty-seven, and it says, "Her house is is her house is the is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death." So, her house is is fixed for hell. Like like it looks like like what it it looks what like it looks to me what it's saying, and. And and her, her path is is all about hell. Her path is fixed onto hell. So Proverbs nine verse eighteen, and it says, "But he knoweth not that he dead." Sorry, he not he. But he knoweth. Not that the dead are are there, so they don't know that the, the death is there, that the death is there, or the death are there. The death is in dying. So I read it again. I read it again. It says, "But but he but he knoweth not that the death. Sorry, but he knoweth that that. Sorry, but he knoweth. So it says, but but he knoweth." Not, not that the dead are there. So not, so but, but he knoweth not, not that the dead are there. So he know that the dead are there, and it says, and it goes on to say, and that her guests, and and that her guests are in the depths. Depths of hell. 
I'll read that again. It says, and that her guests are in the are in the depths of hell. Her guests are in the depths of hell. It looks like it's saying that that this person, like it says in the Bible, that that they it's sh it's showing that that um this person is bringing bringing and, and, and recruiting people to come to hell that's what, that's how i interpret it from the, from proverbs 9 9 to 18 in the king james version of the bible so it says as well in, in proverbs 15 verse 11 It says, yeah, I'll, I'll read it, sorry about that, I was just reading reading it beforehand. So it says, hell and destruction are before before the Lord. How much more that than, than the hearts of the children of men? More precious, I, I'll presume, uh, as I, yeah, more precious, I presume. Not, not I presume, but must be. I'm just trying to think. I understand this as where where it says where it says hell and destruction are, are before before the Lord, meaning that that's where the devil is, that's where Satan is to destroy things because all goodness is 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 in, is, is you could you can you can say is encamped around God all goodness. And around Jesus, around Jesus, around Jesus and God, but before, before, but after that is where where it says in the where it says in the Bible, hell and destruction are before the Lord, and 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 this is where it comes in when, when we're near when we're near God in, in God's presence and Jesus in Jesus' presence. It says, how much more than the the hearts of the children of men, you know. Yeah. So let me read on. I'm nearly finished anyway. Only like four more. So it says here Proverbs fifteen verse fourteen. It says here the way of life is is above the, the it says the way of life is is above to the wise so the I uh, say again the way of the uh, sorry the way the way the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath so it it seems where it says the way of the, the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath so it look it's look it's look it looks to me that the person that's in hell is looking up in, on the earth and and heaven and it's and, and and seeing these things and saying this at the same time it, it says it's, it's, he's he's saying this he says the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart so I say again it says the way of the way the way of the way of life is above to the wise comma that he may depart from hell beneath that's that's how I understand it as in, as someone looking up looking looking up from hell and looking in, looking at, at earth and heaven and saying these things because in the bible it says you know the, you know jesus i think it, it, i think jesus says heaven and heaven and earth will fade away but my words will but but my words will remain the same so this this that what i've just said and, and it come and it comes comes together with what i've just with what i've just read just now with with, with this it said well, i'll read it again it says 
the way of life is is a, is above to the wise comma that the that that he may depart from hell beneath so let me do something Where do we go to the ones? So with that script, those two scriptures I read read out to you. I read them both again because I found the, the the one I that I that I spoke of, that I spoke of, but I never gave it the 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 book or chapter or ver chapter or verse. So it's in Matthew twenty four verse thirty five in the King James version. It says. Heaven and heaven, heaven and earth. With, sorry, heaven and earth shall pass 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 away, comma. But my words shall not pass pass away. And the other one that that I believe merges with this one that I've just read out to you with in Matthew. And emerges so, so it merges with merges with this one where it says. In pro in, in in Proverbs fifteen verse twenty four, it says the way of the way of life is above to the wise. Comma that that he may depart. Sorry that that he may depart from hell beneath. So yeah. But I'll, that's that. But let me move on a bit now. So it's. So it's now Proverbs 23 verse 11 and it says thou, sh thou shalt beat him with the, with, with the rod comma and shalt deliver his soul from hell I don't understand that it says thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell Uh, I can only think that's to do with Jesus. That's the only thing I can think it could do. To, it could it could be it could be with. Sorry, not be with, but to do with. Because G Jesus was crucified in that kind of way, and he went down into the ground to preach to the to the people that was in hell. So this one it says. It says in Proverbs 27 verse 20 It says hell and destruction are never full inverted comma so the eye so the eyes of man are never satisfied That's um that's it, that explains everything in its own words with, with that meaning I don't think I need to explain that one but I'll read it again though it's, it says in Proverbs which is spelled P-R-O-V-E-R-B-S Proverbs, Proverbs 27 verse, twi verse 20 it says hell and destruction are never are, ne are never are never full inverted comma so 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 the eyes so the eyes of, of man are are never are never satisfied so in the last one isaiah which is spelled i s a i a h isaiah 5 verse 14 and it says therefore hell hath in, sorry sorry i said again therefore hell hath enlarged sorry therefore hell ha, hell hath enlarged herself comma and op and op and opened her mouth without measure and their and and their glory comma and their multitude comma and their pomp comma and he that re rejoice rejoiceth comma shall descend into it i read that again but i mentioned it the the the, the The, 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 I'd, I'll um, mention the inverted comma I think if, I, if I've got the right name for it 
Sorry, says. Sir, I made a big mistake about the the comma. It's actually it's uh, it's uh, uh when I, when I said about when I said about the inverted commas earlier, it's actually a it's actually an inverted colon. But this one is 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 a colon that I've just read out to you earlier in the, in Isaiah five verse fourteen, which is the last one I'm reading. But I read it again. It says, "Therefore hell hath." Sorry, it says here, there, therefore hell hath, I'm getting my, sorry, oh, I have to do it again, sorry about that. It says, therefore hell hath enlarged herself, comma, and opened her mouth without measure, colon, and their glory, comma, and their multitude, comma, and their, and their, and their, and their pomp, comma, and he that rejoice rejoice joyceth comma shall descend into it i think it explains itself anyway yeah so that's really all i have to say so you know i'm only when i interpret it, interpret these Passages. I'm only interpreting how I how how I'm how, how I'm guided by the Spirit on on what to say. I'm not really I'm not really trying to do anything funny. But I'm I'm but you know you're free to comment on on this on this video on what you think and yeah. So that that's what I have to say on that video. But um, I think I think what what I'll do is I'll, I'll pray as well. So let me just pray. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us from past, present, and future. Help us to know the, and understand the meaning of what the afterlife is about, Father, about heaven and hell, especially hell, O oh God. Help us to fear it in the right way, Father, and pretty and please forgive us for our sins, O oh God, from past, present, and future. Pray grace and mercy will rest upon us, Father, in these situations and circumstances. Help us to, to fear you, O oh God. Fear you in the right way, O oh God and Lord. We pray we pray and, un, 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 and ask for your understanding, O oh God, in these situations and circumstances that you put us in, Father. Help us not to be frustrated with life and frustrated with circumstances, Father. And help us not to grow to hate you more because of this message, O oh God. We we'll pray you you meet with us at the point of need, Father, at a, at a point of surrender, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, and inspiration, pray not to fall upon inspiration. We pray these things all, and we declare these things all in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. So yeah, um, the the vision I had should not be taken lightly i wasn't i'm not really joking about that you know what i had today and and, and i'm not trying to do anything funny at all but I, I, but that's what i really thought i sh i'll sh i should share with you guys and gals so that's really all i have to say in this video so god bless take care and peace with you bye for now ciao